This is after the Protect Victoria rally. We're here with Avi Yemeni, who came second in the Unshackled uh, Patriot of the Year Awards. So can... oh, who did I lose to? You lost to Christopher Shorty. Yes. I'm coming for you, Chris. Now, uh, you were mainly, you spoke today, but you were the, the tech person behind the scenes. So uh, you, you helped put together what was, a, it was a, I think it made an impact today's event. I, th I think it was a great success and I think uh, everybody that came today uh, should pat themselves on the back. Uh, you know, we took a stand and we got some decent numbers, um, especially for a conservative uh, point of view. You just, you tend, and that's what people need to understand. Rallying, coming out to the streets is traditionally a leftist action, not a conservative one. So it is always going to be difficult to, to get conservatives, get people people with common sense out on the street. It's usually your crazies from the left who are there to protest uh, everything we actually stand for and, and cherish. Yeah, it definitely would have been better to have a few more people today, but as you said, it's as many of the left who uh, get out on the streets, so it's definitely something we need the, the Conservatives to uh, get, uh, get better at, because sadly that's, you know, the politicians, they're, they're still scared of, you know, the mob on the street. Well, you know what, I, 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 I think, I, I understand what you're saying, and I, it would be nice to see numbers, but I care more about action. So. I'm happier, even if we don't get those numbers on the street, that we have the numbers that are willing to take action, whether it's voting, whether it's even online, people can share, keep telling the truth, don't be afraid, don't fall into the political cor p p politically correct trap. Be heard, be part of fixing our broken system. And as Hayden said today, this is just the beginning. There's more uh, action planned. So, and the Protect Victoria group, it's 34,000 uh, members. So there's definitely a lot of people who, you know, are, you know, getting quite, getting quite frustrated. And it's, it's something that on your Facebook page, you've, uh, you know, been quite passionate about this issue as well, especially, you know, as we've seen the, the crime wave really accelerate over this past summer. Yeah, exactly. And uh, look, I think, I know, there are thousands and thousands of Victorians, backed by even more thousands of Australians, who are sick and disgusted of what is going on in Victoria at the moment. The crime wave, people are living in fear here. It, it, you, you can deny it as much as you want and the left tries to do so. But it is real. And the fear is real. And the, and, and the changes we have to make have to be real. We cannot play, we cannot afford to keep playing politics on this game. And both sides are doing this. Right now, Andrews is, is in government, but both sides need to stop playing politics. And that's why I congratulate um, uh, Rachel Jenkins for coming out today. Because out of everybody in that house, she is the only one who is really speaking for the people at the moment. Yeah. Uh uh, like at least there was, you know, one representative from Victoria's Parliament. But the fact that there are 127 others who decided not to come today, I mean, that just shows. I mean, they may talk tough, they you know, the politicians on the media from both sides. But when it comes to, you know, actually listening to, you know, the people, they're uh, they've just got their ears blocked. Exactly. And this is why. This is why I personally, and this is why Australians generally hate politicians, because. They, they're very good at talking, but implementing action, they are failing us. And while I've got you here, your uh, social media on Facebook continues to grow from strength to strength. You're now at uh, well over 100,000 uh, Facebook followers, but uh, 2018 you've uh, joined Australian Conservatives and you do plan to be a candidate for them at the state election? Yes, I'm, uh, I am planning on running um, this election. I am not becoming a politician. I will refuse to be an, a politician. And if it's even possible to get impeached in Australia, I probably will. But that's the point is I'm, I'm putting my hat in the, in the race because I think we need more people, you know, without blowing smoke up my own ass. Is we need people who are willing just to say it as it is. I do not want a career in politics. I, 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 in 15 years, I don't want to be looking at myself going, oh, I'm still a politician. No. But I want to get in there and I want to encourage others to do the same. 
get involved somehow and, and, and let our voices be heard. Don't be afraid anymore. Well, 2018, it's got, as an election year, it's going to be a big year for Victoria and you can make an impact and the rest of us can as well. So thank you for speaking with us and well done on your contribution today. Thank you. Yep. Oh. There we go. Yep. Thank you. And remember, everybody, everybody has the power. Today in 2018, we have social media. Social media is exactly that. It's social. It means that you at home right now can share this video and 10 people will see it at least. And they can do the same. You, you have the power to encourage them to do the same. We do not have to be trapped in this world where the fake news media machine controls the narrative. We can start sharing the truth. It starts with you. This has been an Unshackled Fast. Please like, comment and subscribe. While you're here, grab our free ebook at theunshackledbattlefield.net and visit theunshackled.net for all the latest news and commentary.